of the show for today. And we're talking to Dr. Michael Chancellor from the University of Pittsburgh uh, Medical Center in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And of course, Doctor, uh, let us uh, continue uh, this last segment mm -hmm. by giving you an opportunity to uh, talk about some of the research and some of the uh, treatments and some of the other things that you think uh, might be of interest to uh, our audience and uh, to, uh, again, talk about this, this, this product that you have. Well, Dr. Haney, I'd like mm -hmm. to thank you for the opportunity for having me because my main purpose is to say that sort of bring the condition mm -hmm. out in the public. Mm -hmm. Ability to achieve and maintain erection mm -hmm. is a common problem. Mm -hmm. Don't be embarrassed mm -hmm. because it affects a man's uh, image of itself mm -hmm. and affects the relationship. Mm -hmm. It takes two to tango mm -hmm. and, a, and the sexual dysfunction affects both partners. Mm -hmm. And if the sex is not satisfactory, mm -hmm. there are some exercises you can do mm -hmm. in the stuff you can look up on the internet, mm -hmm. you can stop, squeeze, but you need a you need a study partner who mm -hmm. can work with you on mm -hmm. that. So if you need some treatment that works right away, mm -hmm. we've developed this product called Prolasta mm -hmm. that can help when taken under the mouth. Mm -hmm. It can delay the ejaculation mm -hmm. for has a couple hours a window that mm -hmm. it can work. Mm -hmm. and, and and so this is now in the line of uh, new efforts to try to uh, broaden our. Uh, uh, whole attitude in reference to uh, sex. Is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I truly believe, mm -hmm. like we talked about before, that mm -hmm. 10 years ago, mm -hmm. erectile dysfunction would have been taboo. Mm -hmm. But then Viagra, Cialis came out. We saw mm -hmm. the athletes mm -hmm. talk about it in mm -hmm. those commercials. So we said, well, you know what? It, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And they've been very successful in the treatment, mm -hmm. and they've been very safe product. Mm -hmm. So I just like to bring to the attention mm -hmm. that the ejaculating too soon mm -hmm. is actually even more of a problem mm -hmm. or erectile dysfunction, mm -hmm. that it's okay to talk about it because mm -hmm. it does affect not only the man and the women, mm -hmm. and now we have treatment mm -hmm. toward to make this better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, so, and, and so you're going national with this, uh, uh, this product. Uh, what, have, what have you done so far? I mean, what, what has been the success? So far, in terms of laying out your, your patterns. Here. Yeah, so it's uh, that's that's something I'm very excited about mm -hmm. because I do have a halftime research. I'm mm -hmm. funded by the NIH. Mm -hmm. That I have, to, if I do the research mm -hmm. as an MD, I have to make a difference. I have to bring that stuff out of the lab mm -hmm. and actually help the patient. Mm -hmm. So this year, two, 2006, we received a grant from the Heinz Foundation. Mm -hmm. You know, the, in yeah, Pittsburgh, yeah, mm -hmm. the ketchup, mm -hmm. and they say. Can you take some of your research idea, mm -hmm. not just, you know, we don't want to give you money for the research, mm -hmm. but do something that can build a business. It has a practical kind yes, of. Yes, mm -hmm. and actually build a business, put it in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. help the local economy, mm -hmm. but make, take an idea and actually make a difference and mm -hmm. show us you can help people. That's mm -hmm. what the Heinz Foundation asked us to do. Mm -hmm. So we took the challenge, we took the, the research we did in, in the research lab, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, did a clinical trial where we tested out on the patient, mm -hmm. and then uh, we formed a company, and now we're rolling out this national mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. The clinical trial is pretty neat, I thought. Go on, speak yeah. to that. I was wondering about that. Go on. Well, mm -hmm. as you can imagine, mm -hmm. how do you get a guy to, how do you test uh, premature ejaculation? Mm -hmm. uh, and the actual way you do it is you give the man and his partner a mm -hmm. stopwatch, mm -hmm. and you, they record when they have sex, mm -hmm. and they actually time themselves to mm -hmm. how long they actually last. Mm -hmm. So you take the stopwatch before treatment and then you time them for a couple weeks after treatment mm -hmm. and then you see objectively mm -hmm. if they actually can love longer or mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so you should have the, the difference between those two figures should mean uh, 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 your solution in reference to that little right. tab that they can place uh, underneath their tongue. Is that so, so Dr. Haney, I know your audience is now mm -hmm. wondering what's normal and uh -huh. what's too quick, right? Okay, uh, could you explain that to them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you statistically, when they surveyed thousands of men, mm -hmm. average men would say it's between like five to seven minutes. Mm -hmm. But if a man say, you know, doc, I, I, I come too quick, mm -hmm. they only go last about 60 seconds, mm -hmm. gone in 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. So with treatment, you can take those people that only last about 60 seconds mm -hmm. and you can add to about three minutes. Mm -hmm. But because the ejaculation is a reflex in the brain, mm -hmm. anybody can last longer mm -hmm. when they add more of the prolasta, which is the mm -hmm. serotonin mm -hmm. agent. So if, you, if you're a minute man, 
you can be significantly longer. Mm -hmm. But even a person that's five minute can mm -hmm. last longer also. Mm -hmm. And so this is good for no matter what, what kind of situation a person finds himself in, if that is a problem with that individual. Scientific, mm -hmm. Yes, scientifically it just it delays mm -hmm. the reflex. Mm -hmm. So it takes you longer before the ejaculation, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. orgasm kicks mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. So therefore it can help the gone in 60 second man, mm -hmm. but it can also help mm -hmm. somebody that's, that's not too short, but mm -hmm. just want to last longer. And, 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 and this uh, uh, pill, this product is safe. Uh, for any individual. I mean, there's no age limit in reference to, how, I mean, any person who is of age to become involved in some kind of sexual uh, union. That, it's, it's extracted from the plant mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's been tested for, for many years. It's just the, mm -hmm. the delivery, the rapid delivery. Mm -hmm. If you're on Coumadin or blood thinner, you shouldn't take it. Mm -hmm. And women shouldn't take it if they're on birth control pill, but mm -hmm. this is for men only. Okay. So mm -hmm. we tell them, if, you know, if you're on blood thinner or Coumadin, Please avoid it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, there's been no mm -hmm. no problem. And so you, you, it's not recommended that women take it, even though they uh, right mm -hmm. right. Very so right. men can we recommend that same thing as the Viagra and Cialis, mm -hmm. uh, take it with you and mm -hmm. just put it under your tongue 15, mm -hmm. 30 minutes mm -hmm. before you think you need it, mm -hmm. and you have a window of a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's really neat. You know, mm -hmm. it start. I work at the medical school. Mm -hmm. And then now it can con contribute to the locally from the foundation, mm -hmm. the Heinz mm -hmm. Foundation locally. And now I get to be sitting here with mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Haney here mm -hmm. in, in Nashville mm -hmm. to, to tell you take a research idea mm -hmm. and then to t talk to somebody who can impact a lot more people mm -hmm. than I can one on one in my office. And, 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 and so the uh, Heinz uh, Corporation mm -hmm. uh, decided to. Uh, uh, not only support this, mm -hmm. but think in terms of creating uh, in Pittsburgh, perhaps uh, some kind of uh, foundation or some kind of uh, company in a real sense that can produce this product if it has been shown to be viable. Well, the Heinz company has nothing to do with my mm -hmm. product, mm -hmm. but the Heinz Foundation mm -hmm. wants to help Pittsburgh. You know, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh is an old city, mm -hmm. and Pitts Heinz was founded in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, well, what? doctors at the university medical school mm -hmm. can not only just do good research mm -hmm. funded by the government, but what is it they could do mm -hmm. that could spin out to be a real company mm -hmm. that can help the, the Pittsburgh economy, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. make an impact across the country. Mm -hmm. So they're making uh, an investment in ideas that can make this mm -hmm. happen. And you think that this is a product that can do that? Well, the two things I feel mm -hmm. compelled about is one, this is a big problem and no, everybody's afraid to talk about it. Mm -hmm. okay. And clearly there's no good treatment, mm -hmm. and I feel like I have something that's very safe, mm -hmm. and I want to see to, if this can help, the, help, my, uh, help mm -hmm. the public. And just to talk about it, you know, I yes. think that that's very, very important because, uh, you know, as, as we said, we've been involved with this almost 20 odd years, and uh, we've never had to deal with that as a problem. And even when it comes time to deal with it, uh, there's this mental block in reference to it, and you forget words, and, what not, and, I, and, 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 I, and it's a real problem yeah. in terms of simply bringing it out into the open. And uh, you know, we've dealt with diabetes, and we've talked about it being a hidden disease, and et cetera, and et cetera. But uh, what you're dealing with, I think, is is, is equally as hidden yeah. as uh, diabetes. But we're willing to talk about uh, diabetes, and et cetera. And I think it's it, it's how we look at uh, this whole idea of sex. That you know, we think in terms of you know, it can be. Uh, view from, from a higher plane or it could be a view from a lower plane. And I think what you're doing here, you've elevated it to the extent that this is something that's beneficial mm -hmm. to mankind and certainly would uh, help uh, individuals who do suffer with such a problem. Uh, doctor, we've got about a, a minute and uh, 21 seconds uh, left before the end of the show today. Uh, let's give you this last, <coughs> these last uh, few seconds just to uh, sort of summarize of some of the things that you'd like to see happen in reference to this. Well, the, one of the last thing I like to do is mm -hmm. talk, speak directly to the women. Mm -hmm. That if you're in a relationship and you think your partner's embarrassed mm -hmm. or that you guys are clearly have dissatisfaction mm -hmm. because the sex is not satisfying for mm -hmm. the both of you, mm -hmm. You know, look it up, mm -hmm. talk about it, mm -hmm. because treatment is available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so now it's, it's, it's actually out there, uh, ready to be uh, uh, used in a real sense. Yeah. It's called, what, what do you call Pro, it? It's called Prolasta, and being an embarrassing condition, mm -hmm. it's available by the web or 1-800 mm -hmm. number, because people, a guy's not gonna go to a drugstore mm -hmm. and to buy something <laughs> on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So just get her over the internet, I think mm -hmm. this is the best avenue. Okay, and how do you spell that, Dr. West? That's uh, prolasta.com, mm -hmm. P-R-O, 
L A S T A. Uh, and of course, an individual could go there and find out additional information and reference. Yeah, all, all the science, mm -hmm. the research we've Very done. Very good. And of course, Doctor, let me thank you for coming uh, to Nashville from Pittsburgh yeah. uh, today to give us this uh, information. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.